So any ethnicity that promotes relatively more fat storage in the visceral space is going to suffer from the consequences of that fat much sooner. Africans have better fat distribution, mm -hmm. lower visceral fat, yep. and less metabolic risk because of that. Caucasians, moderate fat cell quantity, more prone to subcutaneous fat accumulation. Which subcutaneous. Is, that's the fat around the organs, Yes, right? so Caucasians, and so, so let's say Northern European, African, both store more of their fat subcutaneously, which is the fat just beneath the skin or the fat that you can pinch and jiggle. That has an ability to expand more because there's nothing really to limit it. However, the other place for people to store fat is their visceral adipose, which is the fat that is tucked within the abdominal cavity, so tucked around the organs. It's sort of surrounding the kidneys and the intestines and the liver. That is an unhealthy place to gain fat, but an East Asian, all things equal, is putting much more fat there than they are subcutaneously. The advantage of subcutaneous fat is- Which is the fat on the outside. Yeah, yeah, so the, the like fat beneath fat. the skin. Yeah the, yeah, the loose belly fat, the fat that can pinch and jiggle, that fat has a greater ability to make new fat cells. Earlier, you and I said fat cells remain static. For the most part, they do. There's a little bit of wiggle room where it can go up, and that's purely subcutaneous. And Hispanics have higher fat cell quantity, more visceral fat, and increased risk of obesity-related conditions. Yes, and so the problem with visceral fat is this is such a finite space. There's so little room within the core of your body that if we allowed those fats to multiply, it could theoretically start physically compressing on tissues. And so those fat cells only grow through hypertrophy, which is the thing we talked about earlier with slow insulin resistance. Subcutaneous fat cells are more abundant, but smaller. Visceral fat cells are fewer, but much larger. And so any ethnicity, including Hispanic or Asian, that promotes relatively more fat storage in the visceral space is going to suffer from the consequences of that fat much sooner. And again, it still comes back to size. The bigger the fat cell, the sicker the fat cell.